It's always great fun to discover new things in your favorite games. Even more so if it's through data mining, and you find things that were hidden away in the files that would have never been seen otherwise. And the latter is what happened recently once more. Every time I think I found everything this game has to hide, I get surprised months later by a new discovery. And this one is actually a little more interesting than most finds. I'm used to finding Anu's vehicles or locations. Nothing too out of the ordinary, but this time it's a bit of a different situation. It's still a vehicle, but one that's normally not controllable. You all know the drones from the Sky Fortress and Mechland Assault DLC. Most of the time, they're just there to look cool and to bother you, but you can sadly never control them. I've made drones controllable in the past, and made some interesting discoveries about them, and a friend even found another unused drone. You can watch this video to learn more about that, but this time it's a different story. I wasn't satisfied with my previous controllable drones, so I decided to remake the mod. And this time I took a look at and edited every drone. First the ones from the Sky Fortress, then Mech DLC, and finally I went through the C DLC files. It has one drone for some reason, an Eden Transport drone. At first I didn't think much of it, but then I thought and realized that I don't remember ever seeing any drones in this DLC. So I simply thought it's just an unused duplicate of the Sky Fortress version. But once it was time to overhaul this drone, I realized this one is very different from the rest. What I've been doing up until now to make drones controllable is overhauling a part of the vehicle setup called the interaction context. Just let me explain a few things, it won't be long, I promise. The only thing in the interaction context that we care about right now is that it determines how many seats a vehicle has and where they are placed. Vehicles that can be used normally have quite a lot of stuff in here, but non-player controlled vehicles barely have anything in it. So I've just been copying over the context from a helicopter to the drones to make them controllable, among a bunch of other things to enhance them. So with that in mind, I was very surprised when I got to the Sea Heist drone, and it already had a much larger interaction context than any of the other drones. It seemingly already had usable seats. At first I thought I had edited this in the past and left it in the game folder for some reason. So I unpacked the game files again, but then I looked at a fresh copy of the file, it was still the same. So then I went and loaded it into the game, and to my surprise, it actually does just work, and you can control it just like a helicopter. But there are some weird things about it. For one, it has no usable shield, unlike most other drones. And it also controls really weirdly, like, go too fast and it just does flips. Going sideways is fine though. Also, instead of sounding like the other carrier drones, it sounds like a helicopter, and its fan blades have a different spinning animation. You can even hang under it when pressing space, something that I couldn't get to work for my versions. It does look really weird though, and you can't re-enter the drones since there's no door, which is the same as my versions, ironically. But apart from that, it does just work fine. But why is it here in the first place? None of the other drones is set up to be player controlled like this. And I would know, I looked at them all. There were only two reasons I could come up with. One is that there was going to be a section of the CS DLC where you would get to remote control a drone for a mission. But it got cut. This isn't unlikely. There are so many unused Sea Heist voice lines that indicate the DLC could have been much bigger, but a lot of it seems to have been cut for time or money reasons. I will make a video on all of these in the future to puzzle together all of Tuskowski's unused story elements, so subscribe so don't miss out on that. Or perhaps it was just a developer messing around, having fun and forgetting to remove the file. And I'm glad they forgot to remove it, because otherwise I wouldn't have something cool to show you today. Some of you probably want to try the drone for yourself, and you know me, of course I got something set up. Head to Steam, download Just Cause 3 Multiplayer, and join my default packages 2 testing server. Open the spawn menu with the V button, go to the Air Vehicles tab, and at the top you'll find the drone. So just click it to spawn it, and have fun. And with that, that is all for today's video. As always, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.